Hello everyone, thank you for watching in Lima. I really appreciate your viewership and if you're interested in more videos like this, make sure you subscribe. That way it lets me know what you're interested in and what you're not interested in. Today we're gonna to be going over how to set up a St. Michael the Archangel altar. Now I have never set up a St. Michael the Archangel altar, but this is my first time setting it up. I have devoted candles to him, I have burned incense for him, I have given him flowers before, and I like to say he's my angelic boyfriend. So I just wanna let you know that this is how I set up my altar, uh, just some things that you're gonna need are flowers, incense if you have it of any kind, flowers of any kind as well. Um, usually red and blue are his colors, so if you can go with that route, then I would say go with that. Um, but white also works anyways. As I said, any flowers, any incense, uh, you could offer any food, but things that are spicy or hot usually are things that he likes, I've noticed. So I have something special in mind for it. It's very unconventional, but I figured it'd work. Um, and I just want to let you know that you can make your altar as grand or as minimal as possible. I like it somewhere in between as long as it looks pretty and cool. So uh, that's why I like adding the flowers and the controversial option of glitter. So you need a candle, of course, red, blue, or as colors. White always works. It's all purpose. And you can add any oils that you like. If you don't have a special oil, then I would say use vegetable oil or any oil you use to cook with. If you have my fiery wall of St. Michael oil then that you bought from one of my pop-up events, then I'd say you can definitely use this here. St. Michael's good for protection, good for uh, if you're a reader, good for working with to keep the energies you know separate, but to make a clean dip into a person's energy. Uh, really good for protecting you, really good for purifying you, cleansing you, ridding you of negative attachments. Uh, really good at just anything purification, cleansing, also empowerment and confidence wise. That's why I love working with Archangel Michael because he's so good at that. He's related to the sun. If you want to work with a higher power of any kind, but are scared to work with like a, a deity, then angels are the perfect way to work for them. And Archangel Michael is related to the sun. So of course, purifying, cleansing, empowerment, you know, all the great things that come with the sun. Um, just ask for his help. I just want to say that I work with Archangel Michael when I do my tarot readings. In the near future, I'll be releasing an Archangel Michael pick a pile card so you can get a reading from him, or you could book a reading with me separately. Just DM me on Instagram or hit me up any way you can. So I will, so I will shut up so that we can watch the rest of the video, but I hope you enjoy. So this is my little space that I have, my little corner that I'm dedicating to St. Michael for the moment. So. I just like to start off by cleansing the space, getting all those energies out from this corner. Here's a little free cleanse for you. There you go. Then I'm going to take some Palo Santo, wait for that to burn up a little bit. It's taking forever. There we go, we got the slightest bit of smoke in there. Just to sort of reset the area, get it nice and prepped. There you go, free little Palo Santo friends. So this is where you can lay down a cloth or your favorite fabric. Uh, his colors are red and blue from what I understand or what I associate with him. Uh, you're also going to need a picture of him slash a statue of him or just a representation of him. So I have the silver archangel statue. I'm just going to place it right at the front, right there. I have red candles and blue candles. Today I'm going to be using a red candle. This is my Archangel Michael candle. I got it from Walmart for like $1.99. And as you can see, it is a burgundy slash red. So I'm just going to be placing that right there. Uh, if you're concerned about fire, I would say put a bowl of water underneath it. But since it's on a metal craftsman, and since it's going to be directly where I can see it, I'm not that concerned about it at the moment. Uh, and plus it's not going to be on overnight or for long periods of time. It's just like a thank you candle. This is where also you can put your petition underneath. I just have a little scrap piece of paper saying thank you for everything he's done since I work with him and since I have a, uh, I guess, somewhat relationship with him. Uh, as I said earlier, I like to say that he's my angelic boyfriend. So uh, just a quick petition underneath that. And then incense. Incense is always good to have when you're giving a, a saint something. It's just nice to set the vibe and for when you're praying over it or meditating over it. I have a St. Michael Archangel incense just because I'm obsessed with him and when I saw this I automatically got it. So uh, I also have this incense holder. Yes, it's been burned and tarred over, but uh, it's what I love using. So I'm just going to light a little bit. Of so you can use any incense I found with at least this saint um, and this angel. Uh, it's just showing your gratitude and your thankfulness for you know, being by your side and working with you. And you just want to say, you know, Archangel Michael, this instance is for you. 
thank you so much for working with me or your petition uh, and you just want to I like to keep it relatively simple with St. Michael so incense flowers is usually my go-to so flowers being the next thing um, I bought this bouquet of flowers he's related to the Sun so here is some sunflowers uh, and I'm just simply going to rip off the heads and start placing them around them around the candle so St. Michael this is for you thank you so much for working with me or your petition Thank you, sunflowers, for helping me. And there we go. Three for the Holy Trinity. There we go. Doesn't that look gorgeous? Now, let me get something else. I'm going to add something a little unconventional. And this is extra if you really want to go the extra mile and make it zhuzhi. Um, this is unconventional, like I said, so don't be surprised when you see it. But Red Hots. So he's associated with cinnamon, with fire. You know, he's there uh, taming the devil, so I like to associate him with cinnamon, something that can uh, overpower and can you can really feel the presence of. That is St. Michael to me, so I like to give him these red hots. I just have a little dish for him, so... And I'm just going to place that right there for him to enjoy. Now as far as anointing the candle, I like to include dragon's blood. Um, so, Dragon's Blood is again associated with fire, purification, protection, very much Archangel Michael energy. Uh, so I just like to add a few drops of that onto the candle. And now, some people are against this next step, some people are all for it. I'm one of those people that's all for it because I like the idea of making your, your practice your own, you know, way, in your own special way, in your own work. So, if you know me, I do do drag on the side, so of course I have red glitter on hand. Uh, so I'm just going to dump out a little bit of red glitter onto the plastic and into the candle. And just sprinkle that all over because I just like the look of it. It's um, gorgeous, I think, that magic or your spell work or your workings can look beautiful. And if you can make it your own, then why not make it your own way? Now, I am going to add blue as well because blue is also his colors this color so I'm just gonna add a pinch of blue to this candle so that's all I have for the candle um, and you can always add a glass of water a lot of people recommend that but I'm not gonna have it since it's right next to like, a lot of like trickle wires right here um, but I'm just gonna light the candle now and say my my thank you so Archangel Michael thank you so much for working with me and my tarot clients Thank you for much for being there whenever I ask you to, and thank you for divinely protecting me and my loved ones in my life. And I'm just going to let it burn. Some people say it shouldn't be by an open window, but you know what? These candles, especially I've noticed with the same candles, they burn clean. So uh, that's something to keep note of. And plus the drafts in here is only in here because of the fans that I have on. So that is my St. Michael altar for the moment. So this is where you could add water, ask him to bless it. This is where you could charge your jewelry. Your protective jewelry this is where you can set your tarot decks ask him to cleanse them uh, really you can ask him to do anything that comes with confidence empowerment passion energy um, and protection and purification and cleansing uh, that's sort of his deal of course you can ask him for other things uh, like with any saint but that is his specialty well that's my altar I hope you really enjoyed it and I hope you get, got some ideas so that you could just uh, make it and customize it yourself um, just know it can be as simple or as grand as you want it to and the angels do not want you to break the bank for them if you can break the bank I say you know why not but I, if you don't have to uh, not in the slightest bit I'm just watching it burn it looks so pretty let me show you it just doesn't that look pretty gosh and it's burning so beautifully other than that thank you so much for watching I really appreciate your viewership and I hope to see you again soon. Thank you and bye.